Oh, you know what it is, your ex is in tame and cast your D Nova out here at the district with the one and only Sky Zoo and Apollo Brown. How you guys doing? What's up, what's up, man? What's good, what's good? How, how you guys doing? Not the first time in Africa, right? Well, for me, it's not. It's Apollo first time. First time. So, so how you feeling in terms of the atmosphere, just being in Africa to the motherland? Oh, yo, I'm, I'm loving it, man. I've always wanted to be here. The yeah. energy is crazy. I can't ask for nothing better. Yeah. And you guys are back to the city, which is like one of the biggest yeah. hip-hop shows in Africa. Yeah. How's the experience, man? Huh? Oh, it's always amazing. You know, it was my second time, and I brought Apollo with me. I was fortunate enough to bring him with me. And we rocked out, man. It's always amazing that Back to the City packed out 30,000 people. But it's the same when it's 300 people or whatever it is. Yeah. It's all about the people and the love, you know? Exactly. And I saw it tonight. The thing about Cape Town, it's not going to be as packed as Jovig, but the love is still here in terms of hip hop. Right? Love was strong. Love was strong. All right. And your first experience, what you think? No, I enjoy myself, man. I love it here, man. It's a great, it's a great city. All right. So we got Brooklyn and we got Detroit. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? In terms of hip hop, those cities are big. Absolutely. And we got the producer from Detroit. Yes, sir. That's the home of Jay Diller. You know it. Right? Yes, sir. One of the greats. What's it like? I know you're a Pit Rock fan, and, and you're, like, you're not that influenced by Detroit. I, was, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely influenced by Detroit. Um, I didn't grow up listening to the Detroit sound. Yeah. And so that's the only thing. I listen to the East Coast sound a lot. So yeah. I'm very, very influenced by. Uh, by the older East Coast sound. Uh, is that why it makes more sense to do a collaboration with uh, Sky Zoo? I mean, it, it, it's not really a regional thing, you know, anymore. Um, Sky Zoo is just an amazing MC. He's one of the top five. One of the top five leading to this thing. <laughs> you say, I'm top three from where I come from. Yeah, definitely. Who's that it to? Oh, I would say Big and J. Big and J. Because with that line, I'm talking about best eye. Top three where I came from, me, Big, and Jay. Big and Jay, how about Most Def? Absolutely, Most is one of my favorite rappers of all time. Yeah, and he was here for a while. He relocated to Cape Town for a while. Yeah, yeah, right? I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then, I gotta ask you about this, because you say Jay, right? Yeah. Elmatic, that, that's, that changed your life. That's one of the albums yeah, that- Elmatic? Oh, yeah. Ill Elmatic to me is the greatest hip hop album ever. Ever? Yeah. How, how do you think Jay's gonna feel about that? Reasonable Doubt? Versus Elmatic. Reasonable Doubt is amazing, and he's going to, of course, feel like Reasonable Doubt is better, as he should. You know, it's his work. Okay, i got to put you on the spot. Uh -oh. Who won? Who won? Jay versus Nas. Jay. Hands down. <laughs> Take over. Fair. It's no bias. It's all fair. Yeah? Okay. All right. We got to get to it. We got to get to it. Facts and lyrics. Okay. All right? These are your own lyrics. All right? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll read one of your lyrics. And you just gotta confirm whether it's actually facts or All lyrics. Of them is facts. <laughs> Spike Lee was my hero. <laughs> right. So Spike Lee was my hero. <laughs> facts. Facts? Yeah. As a little kid. Yeah. Now, one, more, one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite, is Do the Right Thing. Me too. Yeah? Yeah, man. Believe it. All right. Then, moving on. The only way that we'll be complacent is off payments. Yeah, facts. Facts. All right. You got another one. There'll never be a moment where happiness doesn't matter, so. Facts. Facts. I told you all my lyrics <laughs> facts. All right, I got to catch you out. I got to catch you out. Let me, let me see. All right, you say. Everything's for sale. Five passports, we never go into jail. Facts. Five passports? Come on. Because that's a line from Jay. That's a line from Otis from Jay-Z and Kanye. I just took the line and turned it into a hook. Oh, yeah? So the moral behind the line is saying, if you moving around, Nothing could stop you. Yeah. And he's talking about illegal activities and all that, having different passports and being able to flip and bounce in different identities and all that. Yeah. But it's just a way of life in certain neighborhoods where we come from. Like my neighborhood, his neighborhood, certain neighborhoods and in inner cities where we come from. Yeah. So it's facts. Facts. Okay. One last one. I gotta catch this guy out. Let me let me see. Let me see. Uh I wrote it. <laughs> Man, okay, that's actually the five that I have. Okay, bro, right? I told you all facts. <laughs> all right, facts. We, we got a new king <laughs> in terms of facts and lyrics. We got a new game. You can't catch Sky Zoo off of facts because it's all facts. That's the new game. Oh, all, all facts. That's it. In terms of future product, I mean projects, uh, just let us know what's coming up. 
Oh, man, I got an EP coming out in July called Peddler Themes. It's eight quick songs. It's fantastic. I just finished it up last week before I came out here. Uh, yep. Production from Apollo Brown, Ill Mind, Twami, who's nasty. Um, myself, I, I did a joint on there because I'm toying with that as well. Yep. Um, who else is on it? My man, Mark Infinite. So it's, it's real fly. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. It's called Peddler Themes. It comes out in July. It's an EP. So it's not an album. Yeah. It's a quick eight songs eight song. to hold it down. Right. And then the album come out later. Later. And you? What you working on? Man, I'm always working on something, man. You don't work, you don't eat. But, um, you know, I can't I can't let you in on what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I just, I'll let you know that I got something in the works. Yeah. Uh, some things are getting finished up. And uh, we'll have some by the end of this year. Yeah. I, I got to put you on the spot. All right? Top five producers for you. All time. Top five. Top five producers. Uh, number one, the greatest of all time, DJ Premier. Here's, here's my thing with Premier, right? My favorite, Ninth Wonder, right? That, that's my favorite. That's cool. that's but cool. whenever I meet someone who says Premier is the best, I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's how I'm like, okay. No, it's, all, it's, all, it's all relative, man. So, you know, one person's opinion. All right. It's all good. So Premier number one. Premier number one. Uh, I say number two of all time for me yeah. is, is is a guy that's never in anybody's lists, but I would have to say DJ Muggs. DJ Muggs, yeah, I've never heard of Muggs. You've never heard. Of Muggs. I'm I'm from Africa. And you never you never will hear Muggs on the list. I mean, he's, I'm gonna check him out. His his influence on me is is uh, is crazy. Um, I would I would put Pete Rock in there. Um, I would put uh, I, I I'd probably put. Uh, the beat miners in there, beat my, yeah. yeah, and I'll round that list off with uh, I'll, I'll do a five and an honorable mention. I'll, I'll, I'll put Riz in there, and I'll put, yeah. I'll put Dr. Dre in there, Dr. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. You missed out in terms of Lachner, Apollo. Here's my thing, yes, you Apollo Brown. Why are you not on the list? I think producers are more humble than, than rappers, because rappers are like, yo, I'm, I'm on the list. Oh, man, I, 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 got a, I got a few more years uh, to get under my belt before I can be in any top lists, man, and, as far as I'm got, concerned. You got Premier's number, right? I mean, uh, of course, man, but, you know. What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> you can call him up right now and like, yo. Yeah, I can, but um, a, a lot of us can, man. But, you know, I call him for advice and, and, and certain things, but, um, you know, he's just a man. He puts his pants on like I do. It's all, it's all good. Yeah. That, that's it. You know, your access entertainment, Cassio D Nova, out here, Cape Town, the district. Anything else in terms of you want to plug in? Anything you want to say to the South African fans out there? Yo, we love y'all. We love home. This is home. We love y'all. Yeah. We right here. You know what it is, man. This guy's who Apollo Brown, the Easy Truth, yeah. in stores and online right now. This is the Easy Truth Get tour. Back. This is your access. Let's do it. Yeah. Anything? check out whatever Apollo Brown's doing, <laughs> period. You know what it is, that's it. <laughs>